Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Townscaper, our last episode for a while. We got a lot to do here today, and I've started off by making a uh, new hum down here in uh, in uh, little Denmark, I guess. So welcome back, everyone. Thank you very much for being here. If you want to see a, another playthrough of this game, uh, go ahead and smash that like button, and welcome back to all the new subs and... Uh, uh, everybody else showing up. You guys are great. So thank you as always for the support. And I highly recommend this game. After the video, pick this one up for yourself for like $5. It's a lot of fun. We're going to go ahead and do what I had been promising this whole time. Is build a giant city down here with lots of interconnected buildings and little huts and uh, uh, town thingies and whatnots. And I don't know exactly. So we'll see exactly what happens when we uh, start building here. So let's go ahead and keep things nice and cheery down here. I like the multi-colored uh, homes. If you've ever seen uh, New Harbor, basically, in Denmark, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if not, just go ahead and look it up and it'll look beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and try to make some uh, buildings down here. Some large buildings, maybe like a fishing market type thing. And then maybe see if I can build a, some sort of a lighthouse or something out here to, to begin. Some sort of a, a, a building to guide everyone home, maybe. Uh, I don't know exactly what it'll be, but something like this to act as like an official harbor uh, area there. Let's shrink it down by one. Cool. Looking good so far. I do like having some of these large open areas for ships to come in. I think the game looks the best when you try to pack the most amount of buildings there, but realistically a lot of it would be open too. So we're going to try to interconnect all these buildings here and start building some uh, neighborhoods. I can't bring myself to bring everything to be full bright colors, but I think that allows these other buildings here by the harbor to uh, kind of excel a little bit more on their own by being their own thing. Let's try to maybe make a building within a building here. Or like a, like a little network of, of buildings inside. Let's make a little uh, archway here, maybe. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait. Uh, okay, that's better. I don't like that exactly, though. <laughs> Some things in this, build, in this building game are a little weird. Let's try something like that. Mm, that still doesn't look right. Wow, this really looks weird here. It's like... It's, it's like looking at a square that's melted almost. Let's try to build a uh, little pathway here for the... Uh, there we go, for them to go under into the building on the inside. Maybe we could make this a larger building. We'll see exactly how this one turns out here. Eh, let's add a second level to it. I don't want it to be too uh, large, though, in terms of uh, width or whatnot, but... There we go. Maybe we'll make something out of this. It's got to look kind of like a marketplace, so we need to have the center look like... Uh, actually, we could get rid of this, then. If we're making a marketplace, though it doesn't really fit because it's uh, very uh, warped and everything like that. We're going to try to fill in all these areas as we go on, but this one needs to be quite large. If it's going to be a harbor building, or related to the harbor, maybe we could do something like this. Ooh, that'll look much nicer. There we go. Okay, and then let's get rid of this tower here. And uh, we're onto something here. This is looking good. And we just put uh, maybe a small building in the center. There we go, something like that. Um, that, I think, looks good for a starter. I don't want it to be too crazy. Uh, I think, ooh, actually, is that going to be three across? Oh, it's two on this side. So, yeah, none of the buildings here are going to be perfect, I suppose. We could make this one too wide if we wanted to. There we go. That makes it look a little better. Okay, that's a good little market took uh, kind of looking area there. It took us a minute or two, but that should be fine for now. Towers on the outsides. I think we'll do that f uh, at the very end. So let's continue. Maybe we could actually build the New Harbor buildings all the way along. Uh, down here too, but I think it looks better here. Uh, we need to have some buildings go along this way though. So let's build a uh, large red building here. I want to go with an actual red color for once now. And we're going to make a large purposeful building down here. It's going to have a very large, like, uh, government presence, maybe? Some sort of a, an important building for the government. And I think we'll just make it a two-story building like this which should pop a roof on it here in a minute. As soon as we finish this. There we go. Ah, nothing yet. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and try to... There we go. Ah, oh, we can make something like that. Ah, that looks very nice. Cool. Like a hotel or something there now. Kind of wish we'd b back that up a little bit away from the harbor, but let's try to make it uh, another level here. I want to try to make this building... Look even more unique. Oh, that's very cool. Ooh, this is nice. It makes like a little uh, kind of an enclosed area here. Not really enclosed, but it, it's kind of like a square on that side. Let's go ahead and add another layer. Oof. Uh, okay. Mm, this is making it look quite strange. Stranger than I was hoping. Let's see. Uh, if we add a... 
Oh, like, yeah, perfect. A little roof there. And if I extend it... Ah, there we go. Now we're onto something. So we'll have to remove that. It looks almost more like a barn now. Uh, but I think this is actually quite good. Let's build a entryway here. There we go. If we add that, that actually adds... Ah, perfect. That looks really cool. Okay, something onto this front side. Oh, that, that looks really unique. I like that. Almost too much, though. There we go. Perfect. Okay, let's move on to uh, more of the roads. I love having these open roads here. I hope there's something in the future that we can do to, to decorate these. It would be so cool to be able to put, like, uh, lamps or something along the middle. But right now, it's just homes and whatnot. So we'll keep these areas open. Again, there would be a lot of traffic from uh, traders and stuff bringing fish and things up to the docks. Or from the docks. Let's go ahead and build, like, another little building there. Cool. And that looks really nice. Okay, so now there's going to be open areas here. We need to build a tower of some sort. Um, I really like the idea of having, like, these uh, beautiful white towers that can be seen from uh, across the harbor. Uh, maybe we could go with this color, though. Uh, no, no, these, these actually look a little bit better. They're special for some reason, and I don't know why. We'll build them like this, though. Maybe we can make them all the same height. There we go. I think that would be about the same right there, right? Or are they off by one? Actually, you can count the windows. It looks like we have uh, two, four, six windows there. Two, four, six. Yep, two. And on this tower, two, four, six as well, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it's kind of hard to see because they look a little different. And is it a... Each click is a window. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's one more. Okay, perfect. See, this tower here looks a lot larger than that one. But they all look very good, though, in their own way. Hmm. We could add some extra shapes onto them to extend them a little bit. And this one's not going to look like the other ones, though. Ah, oh, there we go. Perfect. All right, so now we have something for these towers. I don't know exactly what they're there for, but they certainly look nice. We'll do a different tower on this side and some other bu different buildings. Okay, so this is just part of the wharf here on this side. So we'll have to come back over to the other side there. And we'll have to uh, come up with something to put over here on uh, on here. Just between these buildings. Well, that's not going to work as much. So let's try building down this side. I like having a large open area here. Just like this road. But this needs to be filled in a little bit. So we can put something here. But I don't want to block the harbor too much. So we'll put some residential homes here, maybe? Just a small little residential area. Maybe a small house here and there. Okay, there we go. Something like that, maybe. Hmm. Well, it uh, does, blocks the road a little bit. Hmm. I think that kind of interferes with the flow of the area. But uh, perhaps the road could wind up that way. And we can build it a little closer. There we go. Let's shave off this side of the building and see how that looks. Hmm. Should be able to add a roof here, but it's not letting me do that yet. Ah, we have to build it across. There we go. There we go. That's probably the nicest looking building I think we could have gotten there. Perfect. So now we have a way from the harbor here. This is a little crowded, I'd say, on this side. But perhaps this is more for marina traffic, uh, small boats and such. Uh, and then, of course, fishing boats down there. Okay. So this could be for, like, tourists or th something like that without cargo. Just people need to get on and off. And that's about it. Okay, we'll keep this area open. Nice opportunity for a big building here, but I think we should go for more of those uh, small small homes. Every building almost seems to have a purpose in this area. So let's go ahead and make another blue building, another residential area where, for a few people to live. Not just one home, but a home for a few. There we go. Oh, I'm starting to like how some of this is turning out. Too much, but we'll add a balcony there. All right, we'll have the blue houses across from the red house. There we are. Okay, that's good. 
All right, let's add some more blue buildings. It's really looking nice. Now, I feel like adding these grass areas down at the harbor might look a little uh, unrealistic. I think they would still be made out of, like, uh, stone like this. Yeah, like um, cobblestone. So we could build these across the street if we wanted to. There we go. Good, good. Looking pretty. I like these buildings with the little balconies. They look nice. Let's build one on this side, though. I'd like a balcony on this side. Hmm. Seems like it goes towards the right side for whatever reason. Hmm. Adds uh, shingles all over the entire house. That's a little too high, but we'll go with that then. Excellent. Okay. This looks really nice. There's a pathway all the way up here. Okay. So then we could start building a, another small house here. So traffic would be forced to come back over this way. Wow, we're thinking about traffic flow in a game where we're just building, supposed to be building a small town. I like these little square houses like this. Very simple. And we'll try to add a roof to this one. Nope. There we go. Oof, that looks a little... This looks a little complicated, I'd say, for, for a building out on the harbor. Oh, well, that's strange. Every building trying to get its own unique look. Oh, I like that. You know me with those walkways. I like that. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, we're starting to see a few different elevated buildings. Let's do a different color now. Uh, as we get a little closer towards the main entrance. We're trying to keep a double-wide pathway, at least, from this area down here. So we're going to try to keep it double-wide as much as we can. There'll be some areas where it gets narrow. But uh, now let's switch to a different color. I think what we could do here is... Uh, let's see. Go Maybe go down this way. Okay. Nice. I don't like these blue buildings anymore. Let's make a change. The blue buildings are quite significant on the landscape, so we could change to something else. Mm. The red building is about as large as all these blue buildings connected, but they seem a little spaced out. Let's try to go for some more uh, other colored buildings now. Ooh, the orange ones again. Let's go for that. That will look good. Maybe that'll change how we feel about that. Hmm. These diamond shapes look a little strange because they make such a... They could all also be a large tower, actually. We could do one of those in the, in the town. A bell tower of some sort. Okay. Very nice. Ah, yeah, let's try to make very narrow streets now. But I do want to keep shingles on this uh, building here, whatever it is. A lot of these buildings seem like they could be train stations, yet a lot of the landscape around them doesn't really, you know, they can't really be a land, uh, can't really have a train station in an area like this. You'd have to have all the train tracks and stuff. But of course, Things build, buildings are all often repurposed for many different things. Old train stations made into restaurants. Old uh, post offices turned into modern uh, high rises, etc., etc. Ah, I like I like these little round buildings with the small tower. That's kind of cool. A yellow building there. Let's go back to some basic color buildings. Try to go for some more, uh, you know, government style. Actually, let's work on this now. You have to be very ADD when you play this game, too. By the way, a lot of people like to say that my gameplay style is all over the place, but when you get a good idea, start working with it. You can always come back. Sometimes when you're coloring, if, if you've ever... I was the type of uh, kid who, when I was using color books when I was younger, I'd work on, you know, drawing like a superhero's leg, and then I'd work on the arm, and then I'd be like, oh, okay, I'm going to work on the cape now, and then you go back to the leg. You know, kids get bored easily, and when you're being creative, when you have a good idea, it's a good idea to use it as soon as you've got it. 
so that way you don't lose it. Use it or lose it type of thing. Let's go ahead and shrink that down. Now that looks good. I like this kind of wall here blocking this tower. That looks really cool, actually. And uh, people are welcome to go in there and look around. So the, the, white, the white towers are kind of a theme down here by the harbor. I don't know why. It doesn't really need to make sense, but it definitely works out, I guess. Um, you could make up your own story for those if you want on why exactly those exist, but maybe we should keep the uh, six-story towers going. Two, three, four, five, six. Just want to count those, those out. Two, three, four, five, six. So it seems like each click does give an extra layer to the towers. Looks a little much, I'd say, but it is kind of cool. Perhaps they were for defense or something like that. Maybe this was once a fortress, and then uh, the fortress was removed. That was here, and then it was all built into um, more uh, living room for the fishermen and such. Okay, let's go with some more colors down here, some more uh, neutral tone. I really wish there was more options for that in this game, but it does make you appreciate the color blue and yellow and, and red and such a little bit more. Okay, a little building there. Okay, let's try to do something that I've seen other players do. That looks quite nice. I want to try to start building some square things, though. If we take a look at the grid, unfortunately, uh, once you build, you can't really see what the grid is underneath, so we got to kind of be surprised. And I want to make, like, square neighborhoods now. Oh, there's kind of a neat little open spot there. I like that little um, area there. That'd be kind of cool. We could put, like, a statue there, something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Or we could even just make it like that, a little canal. But it just uh, doesn't look right with it having sand around it. Okay, I'm completely satisfied with everything up to here. Should we make a little tower here? Actually, I, I honestly think that looks like a beautiful little uh, lookout area for anybody who's walking through. Same with these towers here. Now again, remember these green towers mark wherever it goes to a different part of the map, so we'll leave those as kind of a marker. So if you've been watching the series, that's where everything connects. And uh, again, I, I'm really tempted to build things here, but this, this actually looks realistic. Uh, to, to things like that. If I had more build options other than just continuous homes all the time, I would just build things like that. Let's go ahead and try again. And try to build some square neighborhoods. I want to try to build something that... I don't want a garden in the middle, but uh, of course we could always build like a, a little thing like this and then build an archway underneath it. So that way it... Oh, that does, <laughs> that does not do what I would want it to do. Actually, what if we do this? If we try this, build ourselves... I think we've done this before in the other maps. Oof, I don't like that either. Hmm, okay. Well, I like the square building, and I like the cobblestone in the middle, but I would like to build something here. Um, maybe we could do an archway like that, and then what do we have down here? If we take a peek... Oh, there's actually a little door down there. Neat. Okay, well, let's extend this building a little bit and make something out of this. Oh, that's cool. Okay, now we're starting to get, like, restaurant-style buildings. This is cool. Maybe we could have, like, a whole restaurant up here. Yeah. There we go. Now we've got a really iconic restaurant location. Cool. Uh, we could extend this house out to do the... Ooh, what if we connect these two like this? Eh, kind of strange. Eh, I don't think that would apply for a restaurant, though. But uh, let's build some little uh, thingies there. There we go. That looks really nice. Okay, let's try to add some more neutral tone like that. All the way down here to this green thing. Now, where did our uh, two-lane road go? Right, so the two-lane road is going to continue, you know, quote-unquote two lanes, but or a double-wide road. It gets a little tight here, so I suppose we'll fix that like that. Hmm... There, we'll continue that. Extend this. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So that, that'll that come down to this wall here and then go up that way. So we have all this area now to play with. So let's go ahead and try a more gray... I like the gray stone. It just looks nice. It reminds me more of like a granite... Uh, maybe not granite, but it just kind of feels like it's more cobblestone-like. It's simpler, it seems. That's weird. I like that. <laughs> oh, that's neat. Oh, a little observation post there. Cool, it's even higher than the restaurant. That's that's actually quite cool. Let's leave that alone. Every building I feel like I've made is a little accident, a little experiment, and then it just kind of fits in place, and I really like that. So let's go ahead and keep on building. Some of these 
buildings are so weird and strange. I really want them to be more uniform, but the landscape doesn't really allow for that. And that's, again, one of the more unique things about this game is that when you're, when you're putting down buildings, sometimes you just have to go with the pattern that it gives you, because that's just the way it is. Um, and we can't build out there anymore, because that'll break my little rule. This is also the edge of the map, so I don't think I can extend out there too much more. Oh, we can. All right. does have to be a double wide, but we can't because... There we go. Extend it up to that way. Well, that's gonna have to go, I guess. Ah, that makes that building look really cool. Okay, let's go with a different color now. Back to this tan color. Yeah, that looks good. I like the uh, orange and the white... Uh, the yellow building and the white buildings. Wow, building with colors in this game? Not so bad after all. I was afraid of... Everything kind of just looking like a glorified coloring book. I was afraid of that, but it turned out okay. Now, if we do that double wide, that's going to create a problem. So let's build this here like this. Now, shall we go for a large building? I am a big fan of that. I do like building the large buildings. Because I like having a lot of features on the same structure. And in this game, it allows you... Uh, you're really permitted to do a lot of crazy things if you modify different areas of the same structure. It really looks good. Now, I'd like to come back and do a series where I just build, like, one giant castle, and I kind of did that before. My satisfaction of castles are more real-life castles and not the not um, fantasy castles where, um, you know, it's not like... Uh, we're not building, like, Helm's Deep or something like that. We're building just a giant, more modern city in this one. But the possibilities are endless when you're when you're playing this game. Now, does that go through to the other side here? Could build a... Uh, I'm not going to be against iron as much as I once was. Although I feel like this building might be blocking what's seen to be a grandiose railway station or something like that. So let's split this building up a little bit. And let's... <laughs> They're hanging clothing out there. Let's double-wide this one up to, again, make this a little more grand. And we can separate these buildings here. And it looks like there's some stuff underneath. A little room under there. And it is really cool that you can actually build uh, underneath these buildings, too. Uh, I, again, I don't like the steel look for this one. Ooh, but I do like how that building looks there. The rules to this game are interesting. You gotta kinda you get a more of a feel for it than you do actual instructions. What am I making here? What the f what is that? <laughs> what is that? I don't know what that is. That's cool though. It kinda reminds me of like some sort of a almost a cathedral looking building. It actually is. It's almost like a church in in a way. It's kinda got all the fly it feels like it has flying buttresses to it uh, in a way. Wow, that's... Okay, we're keeping that. That's a, that's a keeper. Wow. Okay, what, what can we do here now? Oh, that's strange. Okay. Now, uh, this tower here... Let's bring that up. I don't like how that's on the... It's kind of on the back side. Oh, there we go. Yeah, bring, bring that tower back for me. Uh, no. Yes. I think we have it. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but I want to keep this, too. I like a high observation post over the city, uh, including the towers. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm really addicted, too, by the way, in this game, to the little, little sections that create a star. Whenever I see something like this, I just want to click on it and then make these little sections that jut out from it. And it kind of looks like a... Yeah, once, you, once you've created this, then it's perfect for making a tower. Which is why I wanted to make all those other towers over there, because it makes these... It just makes these little little buildings look so nice. Look at that, I love that. Very simple. Alright, we have a large road that goes up from the harbor. Uh, of course, we could have, like, uh, you know, small boats and sailboats here, and then maybe actual fishing trawlers. Although this is a little wider... But whatever, you know, maybe this could be the fishing warehouse. Maybe they load and unload stuff. Now, one final thing before we go. I wanted to see... Uh, I saw somebody on Twitter 
figured out the hooks. She she got really excited. She was like, oh my god, I figured out there was hooks. And it's like, oh, okay. Now, I know there's hooks in there, but I don't know how to do it. So I want to try to figure it out myself. Just through experimentation. I think there's something where you can build a building uh, where if it's like at an angle... Let me just try to experiment with this. If, if you build a, a building like this and then build like an angle onto it, uh, it creates a cr like a crane, like a hook, something like this. But you gotta build underneath on both sides. It's gotta be like a building where it goes up by one. So like this, and then de delete underneath. Uh, that just gives me an archway. Hmm. What if we delete in the middle? I think maybe there has to be water underneath. Uh-oh. Something like this? I'm making a mess, I know. But I want to see how this works. Something like that. I think the roof needs to be angled on the sides. That's not it. That doesn't angle the roofs either. Hmm. It's a guessing game. I don't want to know. Don't tell me. If you know, don't tell me. That's what makes this so fun is to, like, figure it out. Someone said they were playing this for three hours, and I'm assuming they were building uh, large floating structures like this. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, what is... Oh, the, ooh, look at that. There's a hatch that comes up underneath. I didn't even see that. I saw there were ladders, but I've never seen the hatch before. There's got to be a way to make these... Uh, to make these cranes. There's a rule to it. The game, you know, checks for certain things, and that's what gives it a certain appearance. But I just don't know what the rules are here. Oh. Maybe it's got to be supported by several... Uh, maybe it's got to be a certain... No, no, it's not height. It's not height. I don't know. Oh, well. Now I'm starting to make big shell from Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> oh, well. I'll figure out a crane another day. It would be appropriate in the harbor, but also you have to kind of build some houses in order to do that. All right, everyone. Well, that is it for the kingdom. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll... Come back sometime soon for more Townscaper. I'm going to go ahead and delete all this stuff. I could hit undo, but it's just satisfying to just, I don't know, delete stuff, I guess. All right, everyone, you've been amazing. So thanks, as always, for the support. Uh, much love to the developer, too. I was watching this project for quite some time before it came out. And uh, I'm glad it's just a little, it's literally just a city scaper. It's a Townscaper. It's Townscaper. You're, you're building a town based off of just kind of like making things look visually pleasing, which is something that we've lost, I guess, in today's world. Now a lot of the things are just about how far it is from a school infrastructure, that type of thing, but back in the day it was just like, how many buildings can we cram in here, and our building materials are basically stone and brick and mortar and, uh, and uh, wood, and that's pretty much it, and beautiful things were made. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed. I will see you all next time. Thanks again for the support. Dino Man out. I'll come back sometime soon for more.